is carefully. We have done enough, so breathe in, breathe out, just have a good rest, but your top floor should be open, your brain, your, uh, you must hear. So first thing, you must avoid worrying. When you worry too much, your stomach is going to get affected. So it will weaken your stomach when you worry. Second thing, when you get angry, all the time you are angry, it will weaken your liver. Anger weakens your liver. When you are in too much stress, it will weaken your heart. Yes, so do not work, go into too much stress. Then the fourth thing will, when you have fear all the time, you are saying in the fear, it will weaken your kidneys. We don't want that. And the last, when you grieve a lot, when you, you know your dear ones pass away, your friends pass away, or something has happened in your life. So you grieve a lot. So that is going to affect your lungs, which we don't want. So let us do the breathing of our lungs. So inhale, exhale. There's a little health warning, which everybody should follow. People who have got the heart problem, had a heart surgery, they should do very, very slowly after three months, doctor's concern, or six months if it's really bad. People who are suffering from high blood pressure should not do it. They should do it with a very, very slow pace. Now, breathing in your lungs, we strengthen, which we all know. So deep breathing is one of the body's strongest self-healing tools. Body's strongest self-healing tools. It will lower your blood pressure, reduce the heart rate, decreases the stress and hormones, stress hormones, it will decrease. So how are you going to breathe in is through your nose, expand your uh, um, chest, expanding your chest, expanding your diaphragm, and the belly will come out. So that's how we should do it. When you exhale through the nose, chest will relax, diaphragm will relax, and bell, uh, your uh, stomach will go in contract. So let us start our exercise for our lungs. So hope everybody is clear about that. If you still have got a question, we will um, answer it later on. So everybody is quite good. And we think that you are uh, on the beach. We are listening to the waves, eyes closed. We are going to do in Udan Mudra. So one, two, and three, Udan Mudra. Hands should be up here. Now, just think you are listening to the birds, listening to the waves of the sea. Keep on breathing in through your nose. Expand your chest. Expand your diaphragm. Deep breathe. Longer breath in, longer breath out. Your neck should not be down. It should be straight. Straight, your body should be straight. Longer breath in, longer breath out. Remember, the body's strongest self healing tools. Smile. We are not going to be charged for the smile. God is not going to send you the bill. So smile, smile, smile.
Now we are going to change our mudra to Apan Vayu Mudra. Again, it is very, very good for our lungs. So Apan Vayu Mudra, your index finger right over here. Feel and close. Feel and close. It's our, it makes our body healthy. People who suffer from Vata Dosa, any problems related to Vata Dosa, it will help. It helps you. Heart. When you are heavy breathing, it helps you in your breathing. Two mudra together. in front. Open. Oh, Shanti, the sound to the sound. Nina Ji, the sound come to the sound. sound is loud. You don't hear your Sorry, thank you. No, thank you. No, that's okay. No, that's no, no, that's fair enough. Yeah. No, just I couldn't hear. Okay. So we breathe in. Exhale out gently. We can fight back. All the diseases are going around. So once your lungs are stronger, your diaphragm is stronger. Your thyroid gland gets stronger you can fight back the disease so deep inhale deep exhale and we relax now we always share with the om mantra to the people, our beloved people, our friends, or if you don't know anybody who is suffering at the moment in the hospital who cannot breathe, so we are going to share our Bastrika to them. So we are going to chant Om Mantra, take your mind right down to your Mulban and coming up and we'll share our Bastrika. So deep breathe. Oh. So many times we hear uh, people can't breathe. So we are very, very fortunate uh, that we can breathe and we are going to share. Sharing is caring. So now we initially, I said about uh, our stretches. Now we are going to do our clapping and tapping therapy. Let me explain the difference in clapping and tapping. When you clap, not the social clap. The pressure louder. Not the social clap. Yeah, I'm talking about acupressure point. So when you clap, it it does the pressure points. When you tap, it relieves the joint pains. 
So we are going to do that today. So human body is very, very complex. Human body links, they are linked with each other, each other part. Kakamapachachere masye bai hote na sare organs. So they are uh, linked together. Our body has got 340 non acupressure points and 30 plus points are in our hands. So when you clap, it stimulates, it activates in both the hands. So stimulating uh, the, uh, the pressure point. So it supports the mental wellness when you clap. Easy way to control anxiety, releases the stress. Clapping also should include in our daily exercise, which also increases the happy hormones in our body. It is very, very good for our heart. We, we can clap and increase the circulation of our heart and reduce the blockages and our increase our breathing power. Clapping also helps our bone health. It strengthens. It also helps back pain. Trying and tapping therapy on your back again. It is one. It works wonders. So hair loss. It stimulates our hair cells. For children, it will sharpen their brain. It multiplies the benefit. People suffering from diabetes, insomnia, hypertension, headache, and common cold with the, uh, also it helps your eyes. So let us start clapping. So again, I mentioned not the social clapping. So we are going to start from the upper part, upper part, now this part. So this represents all this upper part over here. The middle part is our stomach. The lower part is our mole band, our digest, uh, our uh, exhaling all the toxins. You see all that bladder, it helps to strengthen our muladhar. So we, we are going to start our upper part. So it's like that, like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is all the part up. It will start uh, 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 relieve the pain in our neck, nose, everywhere. So it's both the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we come to the all the stomach organs. So which is in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we come to the lower part. So it helps our bladder, relieves the toxins, strengthen our muladhar chakra. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we go to the web, web, like that. So it will improve our digestive system. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we go to the web fingers, like that. So it will remove the numbness and strengthen your fingers. So one, two, three, it will help your limbs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now back, one, two, three, it will relieve the osteoarthritis. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pain from the back region. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we go for the Sides, it will reduce your symptoms of headache, vertigo. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we go for our sorry, we go for our solar chakra, main one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Our manipur chakra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we go under the arm. We put our hand and lift. We have got a lymphatic gland here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we go for all the meridian points. So one, two, three, 
put the fingers in and press it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We also should release the blockages from our legs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you bend your heels down, it will start taking off all the blockages from your veins. So when you have varicose veins, when you have got numbness, it will relieve the pain. It will also help your knees. So when you bend, and what is this? Again, it is the lower part of your body, the Mool Muladhar Chakra. So that is for our whole body. Now we come to our exercise for our hands. So just release the stiffness in our fingers, deep breath, deep breath out. Deep breath, deep breath out. Now take your thumb, right? What is in the middle? Our stomach, like that. And what are the five elements? These are our four elements which we are going to close, like that. And when you can see when it ends, it is our all the organs in our stomach. It's kidney, liver, pancreas. We are stretching and press. And it is Adi Mudra. It's called Adi Mudra. This is the only mudra. We, we learn the first mudra, which is Adi Mudra. The very first day we have learned this mudra when we are born. So when we are born, we are born with Adi Mudra. So it is our stomach pressure points all. So deep breathe, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Hand should be in the level of your shoulder. Then you get the full benefit as you are going up. It is helping your uh, solar chakra. Look at the solar chakra moving. So activate that, your wrist, and that. Now the main thing we people complain all the time is our carpal tunnel. Pain over here, pain over here. A lot of people just on the all the time on the computer or making roti all the time or using the arms, your hands all the time. So you get carpal tunnel syndrome. There is a nerve over here, right in the middle, which comes up. When you have got carpal tunnel, the nerve, which is called melodian nerve, it shrinks, it shrinks. And that's when you get pain. Sometimes it is so severe. If you don't do the exercise regularly, the pain will go into your fingers. And when you lift up something, it will fall. So it is very, very important that we all do the exercise for our carpal tunnel. So let us do that. So deep breath, clap your hand, uh, keep your hands together, pressing each other against it and press it hard. So it will help your shoulders and your elbows and your wrist press and you exhale one more time, press, deep breathe and up. you will feel the pain over here when you press. So that's when your carpal tunnel will start acting and relieving the pain and relax. Now the second version is you interlock and you keep only your one thumb. So right thumb up and the left thumb will be left. So you press it one, two, three. And the fourth one is for your left hand, left hand, right hand should be here and press it. Very, very good exercise. I always do it and it has helped me a lot help me a lot and release one one more breathe in only left finger should be up right press and um, if it's in left hand 
not very rarely you have read in left hand. So you keep your fingers open, whichever hand is connected to your carpal tunnel. The second thing is you hold, hold it and you breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Change your hand, hold it tight. The thumb should be up. One, two, three, four. And then you bring, bring the back of your uh, wrist. Breathe in. Again, you go into Adi Mudra. But this time your thumb will be out. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. It will also help if you've got arthritis in your fingers. One, two, three, four. And you now going to practice the mudra as well for our carpal tunnel. So one, two, the little finger and your ring finger, which is pran mudra, pran mudra. So you press it and open, press it and open, press. So that is going to help all this carpal tunnel of that. Then there is again another mudra which is called apan mudra. So two little fingers. So breathe in and down. So breathe and out. Breathe and out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So few times. And this, you rest assured, your carpal tunnel will uh, the pain will go immediately after doing for one week or two without injection. We have injection, so uh, now we are going to release the pain and onto your shoulders. So deep breathe, relax your shoulders. And um, so now we are going to do our Kapalbhati, the full exercise for our stomach. So which, which, which mudra? We are going to sit is our Vayu Mudra because we are going to release the Vayu. So index finger right at the bottom and close. Vayu Mudra, people who are suffering from any problems Vayu related, which is gout, arthritis, joint pains, knee pain, uh, gas formulated digestive system. So deep breathe and you put your hands and again there is a health warning. Any operation done in your stomach, six months, don't do it. Your heart, don't do it, six months. Your back operation, for six months, don't do it. Rest, you can do it. Uh, if, you, if you have got oppression, your ear, eye, tongue, uh, mm, uh, any upper part, three months, for cataract, three months, or you can get in touch with your doctor, get the advice from the doctor, and then perform all the asanas and yoga. So deep breathe, Vayu Mudra. You are throwing each breath. You are uh, throwing bed cells. You are degenerating bed cells to the uh, good cells. So immediately one stress, it's a bad cell out. Now let me explain the mechanism of this, our stomach quickly. So when you have got a kidney problem, liver problem, you know, we have got a plaque covered our teeth and oxygen doesn't go into our gums and then we have a teeth problem. Same applies to our stomach. We have kidney problem, liver problem. So there is a film. Say so this is your kidney. If there is a film coated with what? Because we are eating a lot of medicine, medication is choked. We are eating spicy food, oily food, everything. So slowly there is a little film covered your kidney. Kidneys have covered your liver, your pancreas so it is not getting the oxygen. So when you throw the uh, breath out, one stroke out, one breath out, it keeps on breaking, one, two, that breaks the film, and that's when your kidneys are clear. And when you breathe in or exhale or, or do Kapalbhati, it will help you. So now we are going to do throwing. 
Don't do it forcefully if you've got heart problem. So deep breathe and start. Which mudra? Vayu mudra. One stroke, one uh, breath out. So you are degenerating all the bad cells and generating new cells in your body. So people who are suffering from very, very uh, like chronic disease, they have to do it half an hour or more, three times a day. So we are going to do it over here only five minutes or depending on the time. So keep on doing. It will also control your weight in your stomach. So once your stomach is in, you'll be able to perform all the asanas, stretches, yogic jogging properly. So reduce your stomach. Reduce your dining table. In lockdown, we have got our big dining table up to here. So reduce that. Now we are going to change our mudra. Keep on doing Kapalbhati. We are going to change into a pan mudra. The two middle finger. One and two. One and two. What a pan mudra does is it detoxifies. Detoxifies the bad cells, our stomach muscles. So it will purify the body elements. It is very, very useful for constipation. People who are suffering from constipation, vata dosa, people who are suffering from diabetes or urinary problem, vata apan mudra. It also gives us lot of energy once you have degenerated all the bad cells it also gives us confidence Ram, relax, relax. We are going to share our Kapalbhati again. Meditate on seven chakras. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to come to our, our shoulders and upper part. So now we are going to uh, release the pain, the stress in our neck. We all suffer from stress. So I'm going to show you with these four elements. Elements should be up here, uh, up here. Press it so it releases the stress. And the thumb over here, make sure you don't press it like that. You are just going to press this fingers up here. So all the four fingers right at the bottom of your neck, 
and you go like that, other, other hand into your Gyan Mudra. So concentration power should be all the time with you. So deep breath, hand should not be like that, hand should not be like that. It has to be straight. Then only you are going to get the proper effect. So deep breath, turn onto your left side. Keep on pressing, keep on pressing and hold for a little while. If you hold, you will be able to feel that stress from your neck releasing and come down. One more time. Breathe in, keep on pressing and down. Change again, right at the back, front, deep breathe. Turn on to your right side, pressing and out. Deep breathe. Now you are not going to take that. I forgot to tell you, don't take in front. Your hand should be here, only your neck. Wow, feel that stress coming out from your neck. And exhale. Now with both the hands, deep breathe. Deep breathe and gently you go up. It helps your thyroid, it helps your parathyroid and releasing the stress on the neck and down. This time you can bring your elbows a little bit forward and you exhale. Then same thing, breathe in, you are going to go down. Bend your head downwards, breathe in, pressing and out. Deep breathe, pressing, exhale down and up. Take your right hand, put it on here. Look at the fingers. They are pressing your nerves in your right hemisphere and left hemisphere. So deep breathe, press it, press it. Your hand should be over your ear and you press and you press it towards your left side and relax, change. Again, pressing the fingers and your right side and relax. Now, little exercise for our eyes. So deep breathe. Again, go into Gyan Mudra. If you don't remember any mudra, everybody knows Gyan Mudra concentration, memory power, increase the memory power. So deep breathe for eye exercise. We are going to look up clockwise. So looking at 12, only your eyeballs, not your head. Eyeballs up, down. Now look at your three o'clock, which is your right side, down. Six o'clock, up. Look at your nine o'clock, down. 12, down. Three, down. Six, down, nine, down. So again, we are going to go reverse. So 12, nine, six, three, 12. 12, nine, six, three, and relax, relax. So now we are going to relax our eyes backward and forward. Hands over here and deep breathe up, looking at the tips of your fingers and stretch. Keep on looking and when you come back, bring your eyes just concentrating on your eyeballs, little, little veins will open behind your retina. A good full exercise for our eyes and relax. So all these exercises you got to do few times. So take your, just at the end, the three elements, three elements, which are the middle three, leave the water part because you have got water in your eyes. So deep breathe and relax few times, just the end and just gentle. So it is all nice, relaxed. If you're feeling sleepy, you do that and you're immediately, you'll feel that sleep your deep sleep, you have come out of that 
motion. So deep breathe. Now we are going to do our leg exercise. So we, are, we have been sitting for long, so we are going to stretch. So hands at the back, press it. You remember what this is at the bottom? Your mulband, strengthening, mulband. Again, feet. So deep breathe away from you, towards you. Inhale. As you inhale, keep it for a little while. So it's going to stretch your hip, your thighs, your back of your knee, your uh, 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 nerves over here, your um, uh, legs here, your ankles. So relieve the pain, joint pain. So deep breathe and breathe out. Your hamstring, you can feel the stretch in your hamstring, which is behind your knee. And out. Deep breathe and out. And you relax. Feet apart and wiper. So as soon as you start wiper, you're um, over here, the blockages in your knee, under your knee will come out. So deep breathe, breathe out. Deep breathe, breathe out. Deep breathe, breathe out. And now bring your light leg, now pressing the fourth finger in your uh, feet, which is the main pressure point of that finger, main master point. Yes, so with the five elements under your knee and you bring it out towards you, away from you, towards you, away from you. So this helps your pancreas, people who are suffering from uh, uh, sugar, diabetes, very, very good. You can bring the leg or people who are sitting on the chair, they can perform this very well. So towards you, away from you, towards you, away from you. Try and touch the tip of your nose to the knee and away from you. So now we are going to give a little massage to all the feet, all whole feet. So it is whole body. And hold it again, hold it over here and you move. So release the water retention. Water retention, ankle, your heel pain, a lot of people these days complaining about their heels, that they've got a pain in their heel, they have to have an injection. So if you do this exercise, which is going to relieve that problem, get rid of that problem, and then now you again, you tap, and especially you do the pressing on your calf muscles. Calf muscle represents our stomach. So press that and you relax. Change your leg, bring it right towards your upper thigh of your right leg. So pressing the fourth finger towards you, away from you. Towards you, away from you. Inhale and you exhale. Breathe in and you breathe out and a little massage and releasing the blockage in your ankle, your heels and water retention. And now you press your calf muscles. So deep breathe, deep breathe with the thumb, thumb massage. This is called thumb massage. You're only pressing your thumb and release the blockages in your stomach and down. So now we are going to do the uh, uh, Dhamuk Asan. So deep breathe, put your left thigh under your left thigh, right thigh under your left and breathe in. Take oxygen and pull. So this is the trick. If you do it just like that, you might not reach back. So put it, Gavok Asan is for your uterus, ladies. Ladies problem, a weak bladder, men for the prostate. So it is going to strengthen your muladhar like that. So it will strengthen all your lower back. 
It also helps from your hip to your knees. So interlock your hands, deep breathe, straighten your whole spine. You can feel the stretch. Our whole spine is into three parts, which is your cervical pain, your thoracic pain, and your lumbar. So you are going to stretch up and you relax. One more time, inhale. As you inhale, it is going to help your under thighs. So inside thigh and relax. Now the leg which is up here, you take your hand at the back and you hold. Now there is a little trick. How are you going to hold? A lot of people say, I've got a shorter eye, so I can't turn. So they'll be looking. Well, because the hand is like that. It shouldn't be like that. The hand should come up on this board like that, pointing. So it's very easy, just like that. And you press. This is going to help your whole spine and your mool bund. People who are suffering from the bladder problem, uterus problem, and you relax. Now you're going to change. So deep breathe, deep breathe, and you change. Interlock your hands, deep breathe up, and you exhale. Again, you take your hand up. Remember the trick? And you hold. Very, very good for your lumbar. Lumbar pain, lower pain, your tailbone. And your cervical pain. Your mool band. And we relax. Give a little, now we are going to do some um, exercise, uh, as a four hour, like, let's do butterfly, to strengthen our groins. Yes, to strengthen our pelvic muscle. Deep breathe and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. It will strengthen your whole thighs. So we don't want zimmer frame. We don't want to walk with the stick around, we feel shy. We don't want a hip replacement. So deep breathe, keep on doing it. It will strengthen your groin. And now keep your feet together and close. So this is going to close all the, uh, strengthen all the muscles right at the bottom of your thighs. And you exhale, you inhale, and you exhale, and down, and we relax now. So now we are going to do our by uh, pranayam. We are going to lock the energy. Three of our locking our energy in our whole body. So we are going to sit in Gyan Mudra again, putting your hands on your knees. So it is very, very important where you place your hands. It is important also which mudra is going to help you by now. Our Sarvanji has explained in past very well, nicely, all the mudras. So you should know. Now we are going to do the three bandhas, Bahya Pranayam, which is called our energy locking. So first of all, close your mool band. Yes, your root chakra, which is going to strengthen your pelvic muscle, relieve the pain at the uh, tailbone, and it will help your bladder. So strengthen up, and then you come to the skull chakra, Udyan chakra, relieves, relieves the diabetic people, sugar and indigestion, excess fat from your stomach, and then you come to Jalandar Ban, your throat chakra, which is going to refresh your throat, your brain. It will nourish your heart and relieve the high blood pressure. So we are going to start now. Deep breathe. Mool Ban. Skal Chakra Ban. Udyan Chakra Ban. Jalandar Ban. And tilt your head very little down. Hold. Hold for a few seconds. If you can't hold, 
you can release it, but this time it is going to be the uh, uh, from uh, uh, reverse. So it's Vishuddhi, skull, and mood. So when you breathe, it is mood, skull, and Vishuddhi. So one more time, deep breathe. Hold. And you exhale. Very good for high blood pressure. And you release. Now we are going to do Agnisa. Immediately, this Bahya Pranayama and Agnisa should be done together because it is related to our bandhas, the air. So deep breathe. Now there is a, again a warning. Who should not attend? Ladies who are on their uh, monthly period should not attempt to do this. Pregnant ladies should not do this. If you are trying to have a baby, don't do this. Agnisa. So deep breathe. Inhale. Exhale out completely. Hold the breath out and draw your stomach in and out. And relax. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. In and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. And relax. I'm just worried about the time. I don't want to exceed the time. So we are going to, we are doing this just few at a time, which are necessary, which we should perform this in everyday yoga. So now we are going to go for our Anulom Vilom. A lot of people say, they, they can't do anulom milom because they can't breathe in. Your right nostril is blocked. Sometimes they say your left nostril is blocked. So how are you going to take the blockage out before you start? There is a little softer part here. So what you do is press that, press that, and lift up. Lift up, and with the two fingers. What is this two finger? Air and space because we want to remove the blockage. So lift this up and go. And just breathe with this left nostril because right is blocked. So left and release. Same applies with this. So thumb, thumb, turn up with the two fingers. Breathe through the... Now you will feel those whose nose are blocked, do this and it will be open straight away. The result is there. So try and do that. And we are going to do Anulom Vilom, alternative nostril breathing, which is going to help your heart, remove all the blockages from your heart, your arteries, all the blockage from your body. So deep breathe, start with the left nostril. Breathe in, breathe out. Chandra Nadi. See, even Lord Shiva, who controls our Chandra Nadi. That is why we always breathe. We start breathing Chandra Nadi and stop with Chandra Nadi. And deep breathe, breathe out, inhale. Do not force yourself. Gentle breathe in, gentle breathe out. Ida Nadi, Pingra Nadi, Madhya Nadi. So it meets in the middle. Ganga, Yamuna, Saraswati. Keep on breathing. People who are suffering from insomnia, who cannot sleep at night because their Sarasa Chakra is blocked. Their, their nadis up here from the nose to the Madhya Nadi, it's blocked. So they cannot get sleep. So alternative nostril will unblock all the veins, arteries. When you breathe in, your left side, right side, so inhale. Don't think of yesterday. Yesterday is gone. It will only make you cry. Don't think of tomorrow. 
It will give you fears because both the things are not in our control. What is in your control? Madhya Nadi. Today. So live for today. Inhale. And you exhale. Longer breath in. Longer breath out. Get rid of all the blockages. You can continue your alternating nostril breathing later on for longer period. And we are going to stop here. Relax. Relax. Where are you going to relax from? Your, when you are stopped from the left nostril. So now we are going to go for our, our uh, Brahmani. So we are going to go to the Brahman without our degrees. We are becoming ast astronauts. So we are going around the whole world and chant Om Mantra. So we must perform this very, very properly. That's our third eye. So press it. You've got to press that. But three little fingers softly and ears closed. So when you hum like a bee, we, when we go uh, humming, it release it helps our brahma chakra over here right in our this thing so brahma chakra activates our 84 meridian pranic points yes and it will heal so it is very very good it releases the chemical composition from the pineal gland pituitary gland so curing 203 illnesses very very good so we are going to focus and hum deep breathe mm. 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 hum in om mantra so deep breathe Then we chant Om Mantra, powerful mantra, universal mantra through our open lips. So deep. Om. 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 We just concentrate on our normal breathing. Do not alter your breath while you are breathing in and out. Think that you are taking all the positive energy of the universe. Your whole body is getting relaxed. No aches and pains. Now you pray to the Lord, whoever you believe, in, bring the picture of that Lord of yours. Bring the chubby or that murti, the statue, and pray to the Lord, O oh Lord, make me free from all the illnesses. Fill up my body with positive energy. So I see positive, I talk positive, I think positive, I listen positive, and I help the people positively. So deep breathe, longer breath in, longer breath out, and you pray to the Lord, oh Lord, make me best translator. Lord, make me the best translator for which I can translate someone's silence into a smile. Longer breath in, 
longer breath out. We should also pray for our gurus. So also keep the mind steady and pray to our gurus, our Pranam Puja Swamiji, Puja Acharya Ji, and our main guru who is conducting us to the right path every day is Sarvanji. So we pray for all the three gurus for leading us to the path of yoga. So longer breath in, longer breath out. Gently take your hands above your head and and get more energy from the Lord. And over to your eyes, transfer that positive energy with your open eyes, gently to your body, and you relax. You relax now. After our all pranayama and asana, we are going to do the sarvasan, which is again must. Very, very important to relax our whole body, which we have been using all this time. So people who want to lie down, can lie down on the mat. People who want to sit, they can also sit and do sarvasan. But make sure you roll your shoulders back. It has to be your straight. Your back should be straight. Otherwise, your hands facing upwards. So everyone, meditate. Meditate on your whole body. Light a little candle on your forehead. Now feel the warmth of that jyot, the clarity, the purity of that jyot, the brightness of that jyot, taking it right down to your toes. Relax your toes. Relax your heel and your ankles. Gently coming up to your calf muscles. Relax your calf muscles. Relax your knees. Relax your thighs and your upper thighs. Gently coming up to your tailbone and coming up, 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 up positive energy, the brightness of that light coming up to your whole spine, right up to the neck and release the stress from your spine. Let go of all the anxiety and spine and stress. Coming down, down, down. Now coming into your stomach, stomach area. Meditate on your stomach area. Think that all your stomach organs are nice, healthy, and working. All the blockages have come out through my Kapalbhati. Now gently coming up to your heart chakra. Relax your heart chakra and think that you've got no blockages in your heart. Coming up to your shoulders. Relax your shoulders. Relax your elbows, relax your wrist, relax your, all the fingers of both the hands and think that you've got no arthritis in your arms. Gently coming up to your throat chakra, relax your throat chakra and think your food pipe is clear, your voice box is clear, your thyroid gland, your is clear, your parathyroid is clear and relax. Coming up to your face muscles, relax your ears, relax your mouth, your teeth and tongue, relax your jaws, relax your cheekbones, relax your nose muscles, relax your brow chakra, and relax your sarasa chakra, relax your crown chakra. Full relaxation for the whole body. And gently 
Bend your knees, making a pillow with your left hand, and you turn over to your left side and resting it right hand on there. When you suffer from high blood pressure, low blood pressure, one should go into this position on the mat, not on the bed, not on the settee. Try and go on the floor. It will immediately level your high blood pressure and low blood pressure. So five to 10 minutes, you lie down like that. But here, we are going to lie down only five seconds. And gently, we wake up with the help of the hand right side and up and relax, relax. Now we're going to relax, fully become fully aware of our relaxation, fully aware of our body. So you wake up completely. So you are going to do Sihasan. How are you going to do? Not like that, but like that. So turn, as you turn your, this part, which relates your Manipur chakra. Yes, your solar chakra will start activating. So deep breathe. Longer breath. And you relax. And now we are going to do, we are going to bark like dogs. So we are going to do, ho, ho, ho. So it's a sort of your kapal bhati. So, ho, 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 ho. And now, like a cat, it will help your throat. Meow. Meow. and wiggle the tongue. Uh, so when you wiggle, you are this far, your veins are touching, massaging the sharp teeth. Uh, so as soon as you start doing, you will feel that there is a lot of saliva in your mouth because we eat a lot of tablets, especially thyroxine. It dries your pore, uh, closes the pores in your tongue. So, uh, uh, and you will find a lot of saliva, which is very, very important when we eat food or even if we don't eat food, we need a lot of saliva. So, uh, and we relax here. So now we are going to say our prayers. Uh, eyes closed. Now prayers are again, um, it is for us and for everybody. So we are going to chant the prayers. So deep breathe and hands to closer to your chest. So Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santo Niramayam Sarve Badrani Paschantu Masukha Makaschida Dukha Bhagavate. May all be happy. May all be healthy. May all enjoy prosperity. May none suffer. One more prayers, which again, beginning of the class, we said we can chant uh, prayer, but we don't know the meaning. So we are going to say, Loka samasto sukino bhavantu, Loka samasta sukino bhavantu, meaning may the entire universe be filled up with peace, joy, love, and light. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Now we are going to, I always have my class ended up in a little uh, laughter medicine. So we are going to go for that medicine and everybody should laugh.
Once the husband and wife went out to eat in the restaurant and the husband ordered alu paratha. He loves alu paratha. So he ordered alu paratha and when the waiter brought that paratha, the husband went looking like that, like that. And he calls waiter, hey waiter, can you please come here? I have ordered alu paratha, not the plain paratha. You have brought the plain paratha. I can't see any alu in that. So I ordered alu paratha. Can you take it back and make alu paratha? The wife kicked him under the table, his leg. He said, keep quiet, just eat it. Because when you order, uh, stop making fuss. When you order something, they have brought it for you. Whatever they have, whatever they are trying their best. So keep quiet and eat. When you order Kashmiri pulao, do you see Kashmir in that pulao? So just keep quiet and eat it. <laughs> Louder. Wake those lazy people who are still sleeping. It's already midday. So louder. <laughs> Bring them down to do yoga. <laughs> and we relax and we end up our class over here. Hope, oh, then on time, 10.30. <laughs> so I must thank you again. Thank you very, very much to our Sarvanji, our Guru, who is leading to such a wonderful path, motivating all of us every morning to do yoga. So thank you for giving me chance, Sarvanji, to do perform yoga on your platform. And thank you, every one of you who attended the class. And obviously, Takoji, who brought me up on a bigger screen. <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you very much, Ninaji. That was yes. excellent. Yes, very I excellent love. session. And uh, today we have learned quite a lot. So uh, I would like to pass on to Sarvanji to carry on from now. Sarvanji. No, no, no. Thank you, Ninaji. That was nice. And hopefully, when you are free, you can take the class again anytime. Let us anytime know. At your service. No, no, whatever. I know what I'm saying is what I'm trying to do in my class, trying to give different people different chance all the time, and not just doing myself. It's not about promoting me, it's about promoting everybody else around us. That, I thought, Sarvanji, that was a wonderful idea. When I heard, I was so thrilled that Thank whatever you. service you are giving and whatever motivation so, you are giving. So, Swami Ji, Swami Ji, ka, jo mala diya, moti, moti ka mala, usko ek sabko pura ek mala mein hum you are the messenger of Swami Ji. Guru Chela Banja, Chela Guru Banja. So we are Guru Banja. We are trying to make a difference. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nina. Thank you very much. It was lovely. Thank you. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Nina. That was revising everything. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to a lot of people who came from Banuji uh, class. I am both Banu India. A lot of people have joined from Banuji class. Welcome to them all. Thank you very much and take care. And hope to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow class, I still haven't decided who's doing it, but let's let's do look forward to tomorrow. Give you a surprise. Okay, take care, everybody. Oh, bye bye. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, everybody. Um,